When thinking about how the look of cars has changed, we normally focus on the outside, but it's the inside that drivers and passengers see the most. With car interiors, Ford has taken a reductive approach to design, to do more with less. But how did we get to this point? The driver's view has changed a lot in the last 120 years, from house window windscreens and sun visors on the outside, to car radios that cost $130 when the Model A itself cost $540. Windscreen wipers gained wider usage in the 1920s, and rearview mirrors became common in the 1930s. Post-war, dashboard design was influenced by bomber planes, then by the gauges and dials of the space race. The swinging 60s saw more extravagant interiors and the introduction of more durable materials. The interiors of the 1970s sports cars were all about muscle. TVs and computers influenced the shape of the dashboard cluster while the rise in popularity of video games saw buttons move onto the steering wheel. The Ford Scorpio's quick clear windscreen removed ice with the push of a button. The 1990s saw a move towards smoother lines and curved details. Ashtrays and CD players made way for in-car screens. New interior materials could better withstand heat, hand sanitizers and sun lotions. A shift in design saw a reduction of buttons and controls to create a more holistic space. With clever technologies like a head-up displays and wireless charging pads, now the ethos of reductive design finds itself the most advanced form in the Mustang Mach-E. But what does the future hold? Ford is using 360 degree sketching to design the interiors of tomorrow and design the ultimate virtual racing car together with the gaming community that has been built in a life-size model. Imagine sitting in that driver's seat. With smart functionality and uncluttered interiors, Ford will continue to use reductive design to redefine vehicles for the electrified era. <laughs>